tonight, an important piece of history that's not always known during the Holocaust. Many victims in the Nazi death camps spent some of their time composing music. Yeah, there are thousands of pieces of this music, and one maestro is bringing it to life. CBS 4's Hank Tester has a story. Francesco Latoro and Saul Dreyer in Miami meeting for the first time, singing together for the first time. Saul, a Holocaust survivor, a musician. Francesco, a maestro. But more importantly, Francesco Latoro collects, plays music that was composed in Nazi death camps. He has an 8,000 pieces of work collection recovered from the camps. Saul Dreyer, a musician, allowed to play while imprisoned. For Francesco, meeting Saul, he's meeting, hearing, touching, living history. We cannot recover and save the life of they that lost life in the camps. We can recover another life. Music uh, is a, a life of the brain. Francesco's work featured on CBS's 60 Minutes. What kind of music is this? this is 1944 in Buchenwald in a Buchenwald. camp. Many of the death camp musicians were accomplished. Their work superb. Francesco says their work must be played. When it is, it's freedom for those imprisoned musicians. Saul Dreyer agrees the classical compositions, the marches, the works for piano, violin, need to be heard, preserved for the future. Francesco is one of the most important people to me today, what he does, because we won't be here, but we want his research, his music should stay for the rest of everybody's life.